Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Virgo. Um, I feel like somebody was holding back and I feel like that was the um, main issue here. Um, whatever is going on between you and this person or whatever has caused the distance between you or caused or, or is at the root of this uh, breakup, whatever it is, it is going to turn around. And the reason I can say that most confidently is because you have the cat that always lands on its feet, this cat. And you have Lady Luck. And this is a really, really powerful card to get in your reading. Okay, so <clears throat> she can turn any negative card around. The key, the key came out in the reverse. So there's some lost opportunity here. And I know with her there that this can be turned back around. Now, holding back seems to be key. It's, it's what happened because it is repeating three times in, in this reading in different areas. Or rather with different decks like dice deck and in uh, and the other deck also. I feel like uh, they, whatever they held back from you, they may have felt powerless to change or <clears throat> that you wouldn't understand. There's a reason why they held it back, but it wasn't uh, whatever you thought was going on wasn't going on. It's like uh, they were holding back. They weren't talking. And so then your imagination kicked in. That's what I see here. Uh, and you began to doubt their intentions, their feelings. That's what happened. But what we see is this person, they're looking back at something behind them uh, that they felt powerless to change here or that you would not have understood or, or that uh, there's memories from their past with that Six of Cups there that made them feel uh, threatened or unable to change something or, or they were in conflict of, of something. It could be uh, that you have misunderstood this person, uh, or especially if you weren't communicating. You would have misunderstood um, maybe not something they said, but you misunderstood their, their actions or their reasons for, uh, for not talking or holding back. Things uh, appeared to be very clear, uh, un unclear, excuse me, about, about this uh, opportunity with this person. So it's like um, it came to an end. Um, it, they're saying that, like, I feel like this person tries to come back in. They will try to come back in for sure. Um, you're being asked uh, to, to follow the signs. One minute. My dog wants to come up. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, there. This person, uh, w they're going to show up at your door, or they're going to message you, or communicate you with you. Right now, it looks like you're currently in this very choppy water, and they wish to extend the hand to you uh, to try to get you out of that choppy water or try to get the relationship out of choppy water. And you see how he extends the hand he's hoping you will take. 
Here on the lover's card, also, he extends his hand, but you hesitate. You hesitate because of the snake. Look at the snake coming down the tree, and look what's clarifying this card, the snake. So you fear, and you fear betrayal, but it's imagined things. The card of fantasy is here. So be really careful of the of imagined things. Make sure you have your facts when it comes to this person because the imagination will be real quick to sweep in and and uh, and fill in the blanks and they'll be very believable because the devil's there. And so uh, I, I, I think that what you're thinking is really not true uh, when it comes to this person and to their reasons. Um, it could be that they were afraid to confront something having to do with their past. Um, there is hope here for a healing. You have the star right on top of all of this. So not only do you have the cat who always lands on its feet you, and the lady luck, but you have the star right on top of this. So whatever is going on between you and this person, you will work it out. I mean, it could be a little rough getting there um, because of, uh, you, I feel this is your mindset uh, and it is uh, a mindset of fear, of um, betrayal. You feel like you're being betrayed. Um, but I feel like you're misreading the signs. So if they were closed off and not uh, talking, you misinterpreted that. And um, to, uh, to uh, the satisfaction, let's say, of your imagination. Because you don't have facts. You're supposing that it could be this or or it could be that or you're imagining well it could be this or it could be that and those imagined things are coming from something deeper or deep set fears that you have yeah and so um, make sure you have your facts There is a way through this energy. You have the Six of Swords here. You also have it here. Then this person, uh, this person, if you want to know, uh, they do love you. Okay, that is for sure because there is the Ace of Cups here. Um, What's needed here is a new approach. So you may have, I feel it may have to do with uh, with the thoughts or the thought or, or the way somebody thinks, the way they plan, okay? Um, the way they solve their problems. I feel mercury very heavy on this. Um, but because there's a pattern, the hanged man is here. I feel this is your energy in the hangman mode with the devil. So there's a certain uh, way of thinking when it comes to relationships, okay? Um, and they're telling you here that you need to take a new approach. You must take the path that is uh, that you haven't tried before. When it comes to your thoughts, so you you really need to change your thoughts. There's you, you need to change your perspective. The hangman is here. The person. Um. I feel like they're finally going to open up. There is there is a realization of what that action, that particular action has done 
to you. Okay, by not opening up, you were left to the imagination to imagine all of these things, and it just, it, it made this situation much worse than it was. But it did open their eyes, you know, everything does happen for a reason. So it did open their eyes um, to that action of holding back, and maybe that was a pattern for them, you know, and so it's like they had to confront whatever this was. And maybe this is their lesson, what they needed to learn. And maybe your lesson is to change the way uh, you perceive things um, and <laughs> make sure you get, or, or that you have your facts, you know. Don't let imagination or your, imagine, or your imagination uh, be the judge of, of things. Because imagined things are not facts. So, um, so yeah. So, it's like they had to face something from their past that they maybe didn't really want to talk about. Or uh, that felt threatened. Or, or they f that f they felt threatened them. Um, and I feel like they did that. Because they come back here as a helper. So they come back in and they have a solution and they have the answers to this. So this is what I mean where this, what we see here, is going to get turned around. Now, the, it almost feels like uh, this is an adjustment that had to be made in this relationship uh, in order for it to proceed. So it's like it got stuck or delayed. Now, uh, this could be twin flame energy, I have to tell you, because I do have the twin flame card here. And um, we have the compass and we have the anchor. So I feel like... Um, the direction, they come in, uh, there's an invitation, their hand is out, their sword is sheathed, they don't want to fight anymore. Uh, they have changed something about themselves here. So they have uh, learned something or they have grown here, from here to here. And uh, this is what they wish to share with you and they are going to invite you to a new opportunity to take this direction and to put roots down. So with the anchor. So this person wants to anchor this relationship, basically. They are, they come back in here and they are ready to settle down with you. I feel like uh, this person, uh, here we see the, the holding back card holding back, holding back. I mean, uh, they, there's recognition here and they're saying like, I should have expressed myself better. They feel really bad and they feel guilty for the pain, um, for the pain that they've caused you, for the damage that that one action of theirs has done to, to the relationship. But in the same breath, it has taught you both something, I feel, that will actually benefit this uh, relationship in the long run. It's almost like being lucky in your bad luck, you know. That's what I'm hearing. And so um, this definitely um, turns around. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.